What is the best anime of fall 2022 season? Most people would probably respond with a series like Chainsaw Man, Bleach, or My Hero. However, for me, those series were great, but I already knew that before going in. I was looking for something to take me by surprise this season, and I definitely found it with my pick for the best anime for the fall season, Raven of the Inner Palace. This series genuinely surprised me. The first episode blew me away with gorgeous visuals, an amazing soundtrack, and an interesting hook to the story. And now that we're about halfway through this anime, I am still blown away by how good it is. I have to give credit to the author of the original novel because the story is really compelling and the characters are super interesting. What I love the most about this anime is that there is so much mystery surrounding the characters and even honestly the location as well. This mystery keeps me coming back wanting to learn more and it gets me excited to see the future of this series. The series also follows this increasing trend I have noticed in anime recently which is having incredible lighting. This series based only off of its lighting is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, the backgrounds are incredible and the character designs are great, but the lighting in this anime really brings it all together into one nice and neat package. This series has a pacing that is digestible for everyone. In every episode, something happens, the severity of what happens depends on the episode, but each element branches off and it then eventually brings itself back into one cohesive unit that really works well. This series does everything right, and you can really see that with how everything in this series looks. If you're looking for a reprieve from all the shonen action series coming out right now and you haven't given this a shot, then you certainly are missing out on an absolute gem of a series that I personally think is the best anime of this season. Before we continue this video, it would be awesome if you could leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I make new anime and manga content every single week on a variety of different series. The characters in this anime are super unique and interesting. All of the characters have a pretty interesting backstory that gets slowly pieced together as the series progresses. The more we learn about each of the characters, the better they become. The main two characters are honestly pretty cool. The Raven Consort, I'm not even going to attempt her name as it's Chinese and I don't even know where to begin with that, is pretty cool. Her design is fitting every character very well and we also get to see who she is as a person a lot throughout the series, which is quite cool. The Emperor Dude is also pretty cool, as we learn more about him he becomes an increasingly more sympathetic character, but at the same time you get to see just how strong he is having to bear all the burdens he has throughout his life. His design is also pretty cool and it fits his character really well. He wears a lot of bright colors to hide his dark past, but his closest attendant is a man who dresses in all black to symbolize not only his dark past, but also the attendants, which I really like and it makes it really interesting. The side cast in this series is pretty cool, they all have pretty interesting personalities. Each one of them plays a specific role. One of them has this bright and bubbly personality. She follows her main character around and is a really good contrast to the dark and depressing demeanor of the Raven Consort. Another one is more serious and driven. He is the one who is the Emperor's closest assistant. He fits the bill for being a really interesting character that mostly tries to stay in the background. Then we also have some fun loving and laid back characters, some that are stereotypically nice and bad, and a whole bunch of other fun personalities for characters that makes them really great. Everything about the characters makes this series way more fun to watch with all of their personalities shining through. You get to see some really great interactions between certain characters that makes the whole experience way more fun. I would say, based solely off the backs of its characters, that this series is a must watch because the characters are incredible and the way they are being written so far makes me pretty excited to see how it is going to go by the end of this series. The art animation for this series is incredible. The animation is pretty solid and flows quite well when magic is being used. It is without fail an extremely gorgeous scene that plays out. The lighting makes this whole show come together and makes the emotions the scenes are trying to convey that much more noticeable. The art is also of course great, the character designs are awesome and the backgrounds are great. It all just works really well and comes together into this really nice and neat package. This is one of the most beautiful anime coming out this season for sure. The music, oh my god the music, it is incredible and fits the feel of the ambience of the series perfectly and it all just makes everything work. The music has this traditional feel to it while also having a modern twist on it which really helps to set the mood without taking away from the setting of the series. The music does a really good job at setting up the scenes and makes them more emotional. The ED is one of the best EDs I have heard bar none, it is so good. It's emotional and melancholic but it also fits very well with the series as a whole. The music is easily one of the best parts of this series and I recommend once available to listen to the music because you won't be disappointed, that I can say for sure. Raven of the Inner Palace is a series that surprised me with its quality. Everything about this series works out so well that I personally think it is the biggest hidden gem we have had in a while because from at least from what I've seen no one else is talking about this show so I'll be an advocate for it. Please watch this anime, it is incredible and deserves way more love than it is getting. <laughs> 